A common defense to possession of drugs is that the, the defendant knew they were there, but that the drugs did not belong to him. So let's assume that a passenger gets into a car and he's got heroin in his backpack. And the driver asked the passenger, what's in your bag? And the passenger told him that heroin was in the bag. The driver knew the drugs were in his vehicle. However, the driver was not in possession of the drugs because they didn't belong to him. In fact, if he took the drugs from the passenger, the passenger would be very upset. Therefore, the driver had no dominion of control. Compare this scenario to when a lady passenger with a purse gets into a vehicle with a driver. The driver is now not in possession of the lady's purse and the contents. If she tells him that lipstick is in the purse, that does not mean the lipstick now belongs to the driver. What if she tells him that cocaine is in the purse? A defense to possession with intent to distribute is that the defendant possessed the drugs, but did not intend to distribute. It was his personal drugs. Important facts to consider here are the amount of the drugs, whether scales, baggies, guns, and or cash would be introduced at trial. If those items will not be offered, the defense may work. It may be beneficial to the client to make the argument that although he possessed the drugs, it was not with intent to distribute. This argument would be made when it is not possible to beat the facts on possession. It is better for the defendant to get convicted of possession instead of possession with intent to distribute. The difference in the sentencing range is quite drastic. Many times possession with intent to distribute carries mandatory jail time. So if you need a drug charge attorney for your drug charge in Louisiana, give us a call. We handle all types of drug charges anywhere in Louisiana.